Hi, Fruity Cutie, what's up? So I'm at the store, and guess what I just saw for the first time this year? A freaking pomelo. Okay, so that is the sign that citrus season has begun. So I'm really, really excited. And yes, that means that mango season is definitely over and watermelon season is over. However, oh my God, tell me you've had a pomelo because if you haven't, it's one of the most delicious things on planet Earth. Okay, so we're going to pick out one today. First of all, we're looking for one with no green. All right, so this one will not do because you see all this green. Even though I like the... I like these marks. It usually means that there's been a lot of pollinating on this one, so it might be very sweet, but it's not ripe because it's green, okay? We're looking for one with no green at all, or if you wanna buy that one, it might be really good, but you gotta wait. Okay, we're looking for one with no green, and then once we find one with no green, we're gonna press into the top and bottom. When you're picking out fruit, even your mangoes, you never wanna press on the whole fruit. You know that, right? You gotta press on the top and bottom only, which by the way, there's a few really good mangoes, but as you can see, somebody put their mother fruity fucking thumb in them trying to ruin my fucking mangoes sorry um but you know what i do like a mango with a smiley face on it we might have to buy a few mangoes yeah but anyway okay focus Jeanette. focus so we're gonna look for oh this is not a good one you see a lot of green we're gonna look for one that has some give on the top and the bottom okay and then most important we're gonna smell it okay so smell this for me Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is the one. This is the one, I think. Hold on, let me just make sure. This is definitely the one. Okay, I feel like I should get two because my roommate, God knows that she needs some fruit in her life, but I'm walking and I already have like six bottles of water, two things of grapes, a pomelo, and I'm walking, so it's gonna be really heavy. Um, that's the show for today. So definitely get into your pomelos. And right now, if I were you and I was trying to go raw, I would focus on the melons still. So the cantaloupes, the honeydews, even the watermelons, because there are some left over. I would focus on grapes, okay? I would focus on apples. I would focus on, um, you know, the peaches still, the nectarines, the pears. Um, and if you can find figs, get some figs, boo, because they almost over, you know? here in Miami apparently there's a big hurricane so um, you know I'm trying to be nice I asked my roommate what can I get you like do you need anything from the store she goes dead ass she goes I'll take some croissants <laughs> so my best friend's hurricane food is croissants but hey to each their own now why are people wiling out over the what was here cauliflower apparently you need to stock up on cauliflower and what was here? I don't know what was usually there, but god damn. Damn, people love their cauliflower though. Um, I feel like I should get some cucumbers too. You can never have too many grapes or cucumbers in your life. <sighs> I know, I have a lot at home. Okay, I gotta focus. So as you can see, there's some things that definitely are sold out, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, guys. I love you. Stay safe. I'm praying for everybody on the west coast of Florida. And I will see you in the next episode. You know what? I bet you if we go to the... You know what? Let's do it. Let's go to the... Um, let's go to the meat and dairy section. I bet you it's gonna be ransacked. Okay, hold on. This is heavy. Oh. But for some reason, I, oof, I don't think I could talk to you guys and hold the camera. <laughs> no, I got to leave it here. I got to leave it there. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. Now, how the fruit? Am I going to take that home? Mm -mm -mm. I got a book bag, so I'm going to be okay. Um, I didn't want to take the car because, you know, I'm trying to get in my 10,000 steps before it starts raining. Apparently, there is dead animals for days, so apparently... We're good on that. Oh boy. Um, all right, well, I guess they're not panicking here as much as they were in Hollandale. I went to Hollandale. Oh, mm, this, is usually, this is usually fully stocked. So yeah, the standard Americans are panicking when you see very few Krispy Kreme donuts, that's for sure. Now with the toilet paper and stuff, yeah, you know for sure they, 
Yeah, they panicking on that. Gotta be able to wipe your butt in a hurricane, you know what I mean? <laughs> the milk, yeah, regular milk, plenty of almond milk, but regular milk, yeah, mm-hmm. And then the eggs, of course, because you know, you cannot survive no hurricane without some chicken periods. Come on now, where are you gonna get your protein? By the way, did you know there's 24 grams of protein in one cup of sunflower sprouts? I learned that the other day from that lion piece of shit, um, what's his name? <laughs> the, the hypocrite guy? I can't say names because I don't want to get sued, you know? But um, <sighs> he taught me something. You see, the devil is always going to teach you something, all right? Um, they gonna, these like con artists, salesmen, these snake oil salesmen, they always, um, sorry, I'm looking for a certain type of battery. They always are going to have some truth to tell you. So, yeah, he taught me that. One cup of sunflower sprouts equals 24 grams of protein, which is phenomenal for all you fucking protein-obsessed people out there, which I haven't worried about protein in over 14 years, actually 15 years, because remember, I went vegetarian in 2010, so I have not eaten a dead animal's body part since 2010. Pasta, yep, Americans got to get their pasta in. Got to get the pasta in. Um, this whole entire section of the of the supermarket is poison. You know that, right? Like starting from here, starting from right here, starting from right here onward. This entire supermarket. So like 10% of the supermarket is is food, and 90% of the supermarket is poison. And that is why we so fat. That's why we're so sick, and that's why we can't step into our greatness and reach our true potential. And that's why we all have prescription drugs and diseases. Oh, I can't carry this and talk to you. Damn it. Um, listen, I love you guys. Do me a favor. We stopped here for a reason. Don't be, do not, do not, do not be buying this. I used to drink this shit when I was a kid. Do you even know what's in here? No, nothing good. No fucking fresh aloe. You see what's in here, right? Okay, we got filtered water, cane sugar, aloe vera pulp. Yeah, right. It's pasteurized. Citric acid, which comes from GMO black mold. It comes from... Okay. There is mold, black mold, that comes from GMO corn, and they call it citric acid. And your dumbass thinks it's a lemon or a lime or some type of orange juice. So look it up. Citric acid is black mold from GMO corn. Then we got some calcium lactate. Sounds like something from a cow uterus. We got grape flavor. My God, it's original flavor and it, we got the grape flavor. Sodium citrate, which doesn't sound like a health food. Malic acid, vitamin C, and gallon, gallon gum. Do me a favor, because aloe is so healthy. Aloe is super, super healthy. Don't you dare buy a pasteurized version when you could take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. You could take twenty-five steps and come get you some fresh aloe, which I highly recommend. Okay, you're gonna cut it, take an inch a day, put it in your smoothie, or maybe less. Okay, if you're new to this. Maybe you want to do half an inch. Put it in your smoothie. You won't even taste it. Put it in your nice cream. It's so good for you. You could just blend it with water or you could blend it in your smoothie. And it is phenomenal for healing your digestive tract. If you have IBS, if you have gas, if you have bloating, it's phenomenal for any type of digestive issues. Okay. It's great for your skin topically and internally. It's just phenomenal for everything. It grows your hair. Keeps your skin looking beautiful. Aloe right there. My number one beauty secret. Like the only thing I will put on my skin besides I put a little castor oil on and aloe vera. Fresh only though. Fresh only. Remember, from here on out, it's all poison. I don't give a shit what it says. I don't care if it's gluten free, if it's oil free, if it's salt free. I don't care if it's non-GMO. I don't care if it's organic. 
it's a fucking scam all of this stuff all of this yep even the fruit juices because you don't you don't understand it's not this it's this okay chemicals and anything sitting on a shelf is dead you don't do me a favor don't expect to feel alive if you're gonna eat dead food it's got to be alive baby so if it can't go bad it already went bad i love you and i'll see you in the next episode what the fuck is this okay i cannot i cannot even look at the stuff here because it makes me angry because people are falling for this as you can see people are falling for this stuff and it's like why is this legal why and how is it legal to sell chemicals to our own citizens. And by the way, how amazing is that orange soda? I used to have that like all the time as a kid. And then when I grew up, I don't wanna end the video, right? When I grew up, I used to drink this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, organic, it's in glass, it's motherfucking $8. Oh my God, it looks so healthy, right? It's organic. Look at that, contains 100% juice. Look at that. But the problem is, boo, this is sitting on a shelf. And when does it expire? In fucking 2026. It's two years. Two years this could sit on a shelf? Are you kidding me? There is zero nutrition and zero benefits to that juice. And the funny thing is, is that they did all these nutritional facts before they pre um, preserved it. So before they pasteurized it, they said, oh, yeah, it has 50 milligrams of magnesium. It has 40 milligrams of calcium. It has this and that and vitamin C. But that was before they pasteurized it. After they pasteurized it, it has nothing, nothing, nothing. And yes, this is good for emergencies. But like, are we ever going to be in a, an emergency like ever? Ever? Like even in a hurricane, it's not an emergency. Unless your power goes out and then you don't have enough fruit and vegetables. Okay, I'll be here, you know, like two, three weeks and I'll get this if there's no power for two, three weeks. But in what reality are you living where you're not gonna have power for two, three weeks? Do me a favor, stay away from everything, everything in the supermarket except fruit and vegetables. You'll thank me later, boo. Bye.